at the Nantucket fishing shop right now, getting stocked up on some goods. The past few days we've been really hitting the tuna hard, which is fun, obviously. But we figured we'd, uh, we'd kind of downsize a bit and chase after something a little bit more attainable, that being some beach fish. So I'm grabbing some gear right now, getting some uh, some jerk baits, some obviously essentials, swivels, um, and also uh, uh, snap clips. So yeah, we need some leader, and then we also need rods, because we don't have rods. We just have reels and some swim baits, so. All right, so we decided to pick up two different rods. They're two-piece rods, an eight foot and a nine foot. These are kind of like casting rods that you could fish from the beach, and that's really all we have today because the boys are out tuna fishing that we've fished with for the past two days. So they're still out there trying to catch a big tuna Well, we are gonna try and do a little shore mission. So that's what we picked up, you know, $100 rods from a local tackle store, but they're really nice. You know, they, I could just tell the quality of them. So we're gonna test them out today and uh, we need some jig heads. We're gonna, we're gonna pair these with some Guggen swim bait, see if they, uh they can cooperate in the salt water. That's pretty much my game plan. I think John's grabbing some top waters as well as some jerk baits and stuff like that. We don't really know what to expect. Cool. Little fishing clubs, so you don't have to keep your time. Wow. Dude, you're just such a good salt water angler. It's quite incredible. You know, I mean, I think my guy not here, but. Like I'm too good for the for the crowd, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, so. yeah. It's like I just it's like I don't want to like embarrass anyone out here. All my skills, all my years, and passion that I've. All your passion. That's all my passion. Deep. Yeah, that's it. You ever just like fart out your mouth? Because that's basically what that was. It was me farting out my mouth. Oh, mm -hmm. that was me farting my butt. <laughs> We're gonna do total catch and release. Just see what we can do. We've got some new Guggen swim baits, which a 4.8 inch saucy swimmer could be a little saucy in the surf. Stay tuned. Let's get him. We after the we're actually not after just stripers though. Anything. Anything. There's so much that we can do. Oh, need stripers. cool that you could use bass lures essentially for saltwater fish, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, We're gonna it's, try it. It's probably gonna be there. Well, it'd be the first striper ever caught in the sauce Yeah. Ever. Sure. Nope. I caught my striper on the sauce system already. Oh, bro. did you? Bro, I already caught him on the oh, sauce system oh, before, oh, so oh. I know it works, guys, dude. Guys, guys, this just in. Alex Berg is better than all of us. He had a pretty decent cast, not super far, but. John's gonna be focusing on top water. I think it's really gonna be kind of figuring it out. And then that's like, once you figure out where the fish are and what they want, I think it could be lights out. Well, the beach was not successful. I think it's just because, I don't know about this, so I'm not gonna seem like an expert, but we're not seeing any bait busts. I feel like we saw bait busting that he would be around to fish. So we're gonna try a little marina area. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna try another beach area. The world is our oyster. Nantucket is our oyster. We just gotta keep fishing. We're waiting on that beautiful service called Uber. It's crazy. You could just call somebody, they'll pick you up. trying kind of a different tactic right now. We're thinking with the, the northern wind, uh, there'll probably be some bait pushing into this harbor. Following that bait is probably some fish. I just got tight there for a second, like a split second something had my jerk bait. Probably a little blue fish. We're not gonna find anything huge in this uh, little marina, but just something, something to keep us busy on a day where the fishing's already pretty slow. Damn, that was a good hit. I don't know how I didn't hook that fish. Got him! Got him! Got him! Try to 
striper. No, bluefin. Bluefish. Hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, baby, yes. The first fish of our little shore mission right here is a bluefish. And this is kind of full circle, I feel like, because this was the bait we were using to catch our big bluefin tuna. So look at that. That is some saucy bait, but also a fun fighting fish. You know, if we had a little lighter gear, those rods are kind of big for this, but these fish, pound for pound, fight pretty damn hard. Saucy swimmer, bluefish, check. Back to the ocean, more to come. I'm gonna switch up right now, joining my, my, my buddy Alex. We'll throw these guys right here. These are new to the Guggen Bay's lines. Right here's the Saucy Swammer. Hey, give me one of those, Jonathan. Saucy Swammer, do you want the same color? Yeah. I kinda wanna throw a little one. Because this bait um, here's little. I actually bit down the tail a little bit, is what I did. Like the tail, like I the mean, right there? No, no, I mean, uh, it seems like it would kinda kill the action, don't you think? I bit the head down a little bit. Oh, okay, for sure, that, that makes a little more sense. Yeah, what? this is what, uh, what I caught it on. It was just a little Saucy Swimmer, rigged on a three quarter ounce jig head. And that fish actually like, hit it, I missed it, then it blew up on some bait and I threw back in there. Got him a bite. So this right here is not only a great largemouth lure, but also a good saltwater lure. And you can catch a variety of fish on them. Redfish. Redfish, anything, honestly. Striper. Yeah. I thought that was a striper the way the way that fish hit it. Clapped it. Did he clap it there? He clapped it. He clapped them cheeks, John. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, that looks good. What do you got? Big what do you got? fish. What do you got? Oh, baby. What is it? Blue. Another blue. Another blue, guys. Nice. Oh, yeah. And that is fish number two. I was hopping that one off the bottom, so a little bit different technique than the last fish. Fish number two. Another perfect size bluefin tuna bait. Hey, you want to get a balloon out and just float it out there 30 miles so yeah. we can't hook a tuna? Yes, it's always good to get bit in a place that you've never fished before. Oh, just they just destroy swim baits. Like, just eat them. Very, very sharp little teeth. We, we, you can't catch more than one fish on a swim bait just because they just destroy any plastic there is. But uh, that's fish number two. Let it go right over here. Wow, Eric's smoking me. Are you the little one? Yeah, little one. I think the little one's the ticket. Nice little blue. My first one of the day. Not too shabby. So funny, we're actually catching the fish that we were using for bait for bluefin tuna like a few days ago, but they're still fun. They, they, they put up a nice little fight and they get pretty big. They can get up to like 20 pounds if you fish in the right areas. They're also very scary fish to deal with. Look at this. This is why I don't really like throwing troubles when there's bluefish around because that could be in my hand at any moment. Relax. Settle down, you wiener. You have to let go, bud. You gotta let go. Okay, well, we'll let you keep the swimmer. Thanks for playing. I appreciate it. <laughs> you won't let go. Back she goes. They're all See ya. Right there. Tons of fish, Tons yeah. Of fish. <laughs> switch spots even though we were catching fish oh, over in the last spot but I'm trying to catch a stripe. They're a different species just in general. These things are just they're fun but they're just they destroy your baits. Just destroy them. Got away with that one. He did not destroy the swimmer. Very simple setup though, just some stuff we bought at the local tackle shop this morning. We brought some reels and uh, really didn't have much expectations if we were going to catch a fish today. So it's always good when a plan works out. Thanks to Jonathan for uh, kind of spearheading this mission today. And we're probably about to get some food and enjoy the rest of what Nantucket has to offer before we got to get off this island. As you can tell, there's some storms rolling in, some bad storms. Jesus. Yeah. This is insanity. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Every single cast, we're getting bites. Dude, I'm like not even casting, just like letting it drop and they're hammering it. <laughs> Bluefish are going crazy. This is seriously one of the coolest parts about Nantucket is no matter where you go, you find some pretty awesome fishing opportunities. I'm gonna put this guy back because he's going psycho. But, you know, whether it be striper from the beach or a little bluefish action from uh, Straight Wharf, it doesn't matter. There's always somewhere to fish, even when the weather is less than ideal like it is today. This one right here is mine. That's a 91. This one right here is Parrots, which was a 97. 96. 97. 97. 97. Then today, the boys went out uh, as we kind of stood idle, cranking on some blue skis, and they caught a 93 inch bluefin. So, first day, second day, third day, consecutive bluefin tuna. That it doesn't happen. Like that is magical. And and the boys uh, would definitely agree. Bob would. Uh, we definitely agree that this this kind of stuff doesn't happen on on everyday basis this trip has been amazing hopefully you guys have enjoyed everything from tuna fishing to shore fishing to everything in between the cooking tomorrow we leave supposedly we leave there's a nor'eastern coming it's gonna be blowing 40 to 120 thousand miles an hour so they're canceling flights already we don't really know if we're gonna leave this island but hopefully you guys enjoyed and we will catch you guys on the next episode of the Guggen Squad. Right no, don't do it. Alex, no, keep going. Brian, keep going. Give it a run. Give it a run, yeah. <laughs>